it was really neat to see when when I approached uh, Patrick and his uh, and his wife, uh, I just threw an email to start with, saying, "Hey, your son wants to do gymnastics. Can, can, can we make this happen?" It wasn't honest. I don't think I don't think it was him asking me. It was me asking him, "Can I permission to have your son on my team?" It makes it easier because I am a special educator, um, but. I would do it for anybody, uh, but it was it was cool. From like I'm like I want to make this happen. I want to see if we can do this, and it had nothing to do with me or any anything like that. I wanted to see if we can do that because what a student like Cooper does for gymnastics, one, it's fun for him. As you can see him bouncing on the tram, and, and, and how many years later, right? Yeah. Um, but what it does for the rest of my team is something that I can't teach. Can't teach it in school. Can't teach it. No. anywhere else but being part of something so they saw a student with significant disabilities who needs support probably for the rest of his life uh, in some way or another so now the next time they go to the grocery store and they see that student that um, that's grocery they're gonna be nice to him or they notice it and they're gonna do it not because they got taught but because they had a teammate you know and the guys that did graduate with Cooper and knew him they ask about him still Hey, how's, how's how's Cooper doing? I'm like, he's doing good. He's over at our transition program, and oh, okay, okay. And family's doing good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't. It wasn't, you know. Oh, there's that that kid. It was Cooper, my teammate, and that's that's what was a cool thing.